This is Bianchi Specialissima Pro road bike and in this episode I will give you the buyer's guide for this bike and also at the end I will tell you should you just go ahead and buy this bike or should you just uh, consider it. So hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. So before we start, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe because it's going to help in growing the channel. And for all of you who are already a subscriber, well, I have to say thank you. So as I was saying, a Bianchi Specialissima Pro stunning road bike for the 2024 season. So let's first answer the question, who is this bike for? So Bianchi has designed this bike to be their uh, road racing bike, but also a bit aerodynamically optimized. And you will see it on the you know, carbon fiber frame fork and some other components. And this is a classical way that road bikes are going from now on into the future. So this is the Specialissima Pro. Uh, above this bike they have the Specialissima RC and then below this level of the bike they have the Specialissima Comp. So if you, if you would look at the professional team who is going to ride this bike, they would of course use the Specialissima RC level of the bike. But this Specialissima Pro, I think it's a good kind of middle ground considering again the retail price and what you will get with this bike. Also, I have to mention here that uh, when it comes to the Specialissima Pro bike, you can buy the frame set only and it will set you back 3,700 British pounds or you can buy the fully built bike and you have two options. One option is the using the Shimano Tegra Di2 group set and then you have another option which is the using the SRAM Force ETEP group set. Uh, both of these bikes have a retail price of 6,650 British pounds or approximately 7,500 euros. I still uh, couldn't get the confirmation about the pricing in USA, so you will have to definitely check with some uh, local uh, <coughs> distributor of the Bianchi bikes in US <coughs> what the price is going to be for the US. Okay, so let's uh, <coughs> specifically focus today on the Specialissima Pro with the Shimano Ultegra Di2 group set. So when you look at the paint schemes on this bike, uh, there are two paint schemes to choose from. Of course, there is this classical green paint scheme, uh, Celeste Green from Bianchi, absolutely a stunning paint scheme and a legendary paint scheme from Bianchi. And then you have another choice, which is this kind of metallic gray, metallic silver, or I think they call it like a graphite uh, paint scheme which is a bit boring in my opinion, and I really don't see why anybody else would choose any other paint scheme than this beautiful <coughs> metallic celeste green paint scheme. Of course, this is a classical Bianchi paint scheme, and I just think this is, this is what you need to choose if you wanna you know, get yourself a Bianchi bike. Okay, but at least there are two paint schemes to choose from uh, when you consider again the retail price of 6,600 British pounds or seven and a half thousand euros. Now also one important thing in my opinion when it comes to Bianchi bikes is always the design of the bike. So when you look at this uh, carbon frame and the fork you can definitely recognize how the top tube of this bike is very distinctive. It has a bit of a kind of a kink at the back. I haven't seen this kind of uh, tube design or maybe it's just a bit of optical illusion with the way they use the paint, but it's a very distinctive design. Also when you look at the rear triangle of the bike, of course you will recognize the design clues of for example specialized Tarmac SL8, but again this is just because of the aerodynamically optimized frames, all of them are coming to the same conclusion. <clears throat> and the same story goes for the down tube and uh, the fork legs, everything is optimized, you know, to be, uh, to go as fast as possible uh, in a straight line and also to minimize the drag. That's why all these carbon frames and forks are very, very similar to each other. But as it is, as you look at the design of this bike, I think it's a very classical and beautiful design from Bianchi. And in my opinion, this is very important 
when you are buying the Bianchi road bike. Okay, when it comes to this uh, carbon fiber frame and the fork, so what do you get? So this is the high modulus uh, carbon fiber frame and the fork from Bianchi with their countervail technology. So a bit, uh, you know, the way they use the carbon fibers and the resin, the way it absorbs the different, you know, bumps from the road. And with this uh, carbon fiber frame, it is a press fit bottom bracket, 12 millimeter through axles front and the back. And also, as far as I know, carbon frames uh, from Bianchi, uh, they still come with the five years uh, warranty. So all in all, definitely, you know, no complaints here from me. I think this level of the carbon fiber, they, they are high modulus carbon fiber frame in the fork, perfectly fine and definitely <clears throat> no complaints from me, as I said. Now, <clears throat> We can also look at some of the other components that you get with the bike. So for example, what's the drivetrain on this bike? So when it comes to the shifters, front mech and the rear mech, everything is the Shimano Ultegra DI2 electronic group set. So this is the semi-wireless group set where the rear mech and the front mech are uh, connected with a cable. And then you have a wireless connection uh, between the shifters and the front mech. It is a stunning electronic group set from Shimano, of course, 12 speed group set. And I have to mention here that the crank set is also Shimano Ultegra crank set, so they didn't cut corners. And this is the, <clears throat> uh, the crank set with 52 36 chain rings paired with uh, Shimano's uh, Ultegra cassette, 1130 cassette, and also Shimano Ultegra 12 speed chain. And of course, press fit bottom bracket from the Shimano, classical Shimano's BB72 press fit bottom bracket. So all in with the Shimano Ultegra DI2 drivetrain, definitely no complaints from me. It's a perfect uh, electronic group set from Shimano. And I'm so glad that there is no cutting corners when it comes to the chain, cassette, crank set. Everything is the Shimano Ultegra level. I will just mention here that this cassette, 1130 cassette, Maybe in the future, if you need to climb some really steep mountains, maybe you want to replace it with the 1132 cassette. But just, just something to think about in the future. Braking system on the bike, Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, you have 160 millimeter braking rotors front and the back, and these are the Shimano's Ultegra uh, CL800 braking rotors. So superb technology, good heat dissipation, good stopping power, and again, I'm so glad that they are using 160 millimeter uh, braking rotors and not some tiny 140 millimeter braking rotors. When it comes to the wheel set on this bike, uh, this is an interesting choice. So the wheels are the Veloman Palladium 33 millimeters rim height. So this is a carbon fiber wheel set. And this Veloman Palladium is in kind of in-house brand of Bianchi. So this wheel set uh, 24 uh, total spokes with the weight of 1,450 grams plus minus 5% as Bianchi says, sealed cartridge bearings and all in, I think it's a very interesting carbon fiber wheel set. I would expect it to be reliable, you know, very good with these sealed uh, cartridge bearings. And also the weight is very competitive in my opinion at around, let's call it 1,500 grams for this uh, carbon fiber wheel set. This wheel set is also wrapped in the Pirelli P0 tires. These tires as they are, are 26 millimeter tires. I wish here that Bianchi has used, for example, 28 millimeter tire, just because you will have more air volume and a much smoother bike ride, and you definitely won't lose anything on the on the speed of the ride. You can see, you know, a bunch of tests online with uh, different tire widths. For example, 28 mil versus 30 mil versus 32 mil, and basically you should go a bit higher in the air volume just because the ride is much much smoother. But this is something for the future. You can think about when you destroy these uh, Pirelli P0 tires. Then you can, for example, replace them with something else, which is 28 millimeters or even a 30 millimeter tire. When it comes to the cockpit, uh, they are using a single piece a carbon fiber a handlebar and the stem, a Reparto Corse integrated handlebar and the stem. Listen, this is uh, again for the aerodynamic reasons, this uh, one piece carbon fiber handlebar and the stem. Of course, uh, your adjustment is going to be heavily limited with this handlebar and the stem. Uh, 
if you need to replace any pieces in the future, it's a proprietary piece, so again, a bit of more problems, but majority of the bike manufacturers are moving to this one-piece handlebar and the stem. I would still prefer that it's a two-piece handlebar and the stem, but it is what it is with all these high-end bikes in the future. Good thing is, at least you get yourself a good aerodynamically optimized handlebar and the stem in one uh, piece. When it comes to the saddle and the seat post, saddle again is from Veloman, Veloman Mitora saddle. Uh, I have no clue about these saddles, I've never used them. This one is with the carbon shell and the carbon rails, so very impressive, with a total weight of 180 grams plus minus 2 grams, so very light saddle. And also the seat post, aerodynamically optimized carbon fiber seat post, full carbon fiber seat post, which again is an excellent addition to this bike, just because it's going to soak up a lot of small little road bumps. So in a summary, when you consider this Bianchi Specialissima Pro for the 2024 season with the retail price of 6,600 British pounds or 7,500 euros, what is my advice to you? Well, I would put it like this. If you have the money for this bike, you should definitely, first of all, negotiate the price with your local bike shop. Always remember that they can give you a discount of, I would say, up to 20% discount. There shouldn't be a big problem for them. And also, I would mention for this Bianchi Specialissima Pro, it's a beautiful design of the bike, beautiful paint scheme, especially if you go with the Celeste Green paint scheme. And of course, it is a bit more expensive than the comparable competition with the same, you know, equipment level. But again, you are paying here for the Bianchi name, Bianchi heritage, and definitely this uh, beautiful design. So if you are in the market for this type of the bike, you have the money, I would definitely say just go ahead and buy this bike. I believe you will definitely be, you know, very satisfied with this Bianchi Specialissima Pro. So this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, keep on watching, keep on liking. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers.